Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy is because I am sometimes, like I think I just did like five videos for my mental health awareness and relationship channel. And I've been wanting to play in some palettes. And so before we do that, I already have one in Lippy. I have one, the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Sweet Mouth. And so we're going to pretend this is chapstick because we start here with chapstick. <laughs> and we're going to reapply this. <laughs> crazy right i know so today i'm going to play with these are two items that i put two of the many items that i won from the giveaway gel beauty 87 had and this one is the la girl keep it playful eyeshadow palette this one here and oh my gosh what i am really really super excited about is the palette from adept cosmetics plain jane it ain't nothing plain about this palette I did look on YouTube and I saw some videos of this palette being used. It really didn't seem to be that many. So we're going to use Max Paint Pot in Contemplative and that's what that looks like. I do have one a base face. I didn't even do my brows. Darn it. Darn it. Let me do my brows real quick. Dang. Shoot. I should have had this done. I didn't intend on doing an eye look today. Well, tonight, because it is nighttime. But I was sitting here, like, I wanted to use this Plain Jane palette. And I'm kind of hyped after doing the other videos. And so I said, let me just go ahead and do it. They never look the same. My brows are distant cousins today. Sometimes they're sisters. Today they're going to be distant cousins. We don't do anything fancy here. I think I'm getting better at having my brows go out versus completely downturned, which is my natural eye shape, which is what I had a tendency to follow. Even though I draw the tails on, as you see. But I think I'm finally almost to the point where I can do my brows like this without too much conscious thought. This brow is more filled in in this area right here than this side. And this one also comes down to like here and this one stops here. So they don't even have like the same length or um, density. And most people's brows don't. And so the goal is just to get them to look like sisters and they say your brows are sisters not twins and that is so true except sometimes mine are like distant cousins which is fine because it still looks natural so we're going to stop here today with the brows and i am just going to brush the top part over where there's hair because as you saw the tail has no hair did i say that right the tail has no hair so this is how i do my brows I did cut a little bit out, but like right now my recording device says six minutes. And so maybe two or three minutes to do brows, maybe two. And that's how we do it. And the only reason I cut it out is because it's boring when I don't talk. It's just quiet. Like, mm, is she still breathing over there? All right, Max Paint Pot and Contemplative. I wasn't liking my base face today until I sprayed it. And I don't have blush on. I just have one concealer foundation and powder and just translucent powder and i sprayed my face with the milk hydro grip spray because this is expiring the end of november but i'm liking it at first i didn't the concealer i first used the fenty bright eye fix whatever it's called and peach and it just seemed to make my under eye discoloration look darker for some reason today and so then i covered it with Norris Creamy Concealer in Caramel. And I also put that around my nose, which you see is still red. And I put it across my mustache area on my upper lip. And then I put the foundation on and I used the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth, the Fit Me one. And I think I'm not gonna keep it 
um, I do remember once I tried this one again to compare it to the Estee Lauder, I was reminded of the scent of the dewy and smooth. And I'm thinking that's why I ended up not keeping it before because the smell for me, because I am hypersensitive, is, is strong. Um, it did dissipate some once I put powder on and even more so once I put on um, the setting spray. But the smell, my eyes started burning and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And so I don't think I'm gonna keep this foundation or do put it on like I did today just to do videos real quick. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not liking that. I have about three brushes right now, but I know I'm gonna need more to be honest with you. Um, so let me take another one out now. So for right now, we're going to, I want to do the lid shade first and work around that. And I'm going to use these dry. I've never used these before. I did do swatches. Oh my gosh. And of course, like this one here is calling my name. This one here is calling my name. Oh, what am I going to do? We're going to go in with this one. I know completely different than what I said. And then maybe this one. So this one is number 11. And this one is number 18. I'm going to take, this is an hourglass brush, number three. And we're going to go into number 11. Oh my gosh. I am like so excited here. This looks, oh, and these are like dual chrome or something. Oh my gosh. So we're going to put that on the inner corner, the first half of the lid. I'm using them dry. I just want to see what they do. I don't know ooh, if these, and these are soft because it's already like an indent in here. This one right here from the brush. So I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know if these are more so toppers. And I do have the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in black, which I do plan on using these shadows over that to see if that helps the color pop. And I should have did one eye with the paint pot and contemplative and one eye with the black. Wow, do I have fallout? I have one speck on my nose and now it's gone. Oh, I think I'm gonna do, two, do I wanna do two different looks so I can try more colors? That contemplative is looking yellow on my lid. All right, I'm going to wipe that brush off. Oh my gosh. And these are no glitter. I did look online at this palette and it is no glitter in this palette. And then we're going to take ACI 8, this one here. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm going to tap off, but I don't know if any tapped off. I am thinking this these will show up more over a dark base or a tacky primer the paint pots are not tacky and i am so used to the fenty primer because i've been using those for <laughs> since it came out until recently when it expired i have zero fallout now i see a couple specks i see like one here and like one right here. Well, a few right there. Oh, that's pretty though. And it's interesting because these are shifting. So this is the first shade on the inner corner. Well, the first half of the lid. And this is on the second half of the lid. And so it's hard for me to pair them to get together, excuse me, because you don't know what color it's going to take on the eye. <laughs> so I may have to swatch them on my hand and figure out pairings that way. I'm looking for my other hourglass brush. It's short, so it hides between the Scott Barnes tall brushes, but I wanted to use a dense brush. All right, so for the other eye, we're going to use these two right here. 
So this is number five and this is number four. Oh, wow. All right, so number five is gonna go, y'all, I am so excited. Tap that off. It's gonna go on the inner part of the lid, the, the first half of the lid. And in the pan, it looks peachy. These shades, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was really eyeballing the new Pat McGrath Holiday Palette, the one with 18 shades. Even though I don't have a good experience with her shadows because of the glitter and the fallout and my eyes hate that formula. But when I won this in a giveaway, I'm like, I am not even thinking about any other shimmers or anything right now. I'm really not. Like, this to me satisfies that longing for those shimmery shades. I do have a few flecks. But you know what? There's nothing in my eyes. There is nothing has flaked in my eyes, y'all. I love that. And I'm wiping this brush off. And we're going to go into number four. Mm, mm, mm. This palette. Ooh. I'm going to tap off. And we're going to put this on the outer portion of our lid. Oh, those two look. They actually go together. Makes it look monochromatic. Well, so far, but when I turn my eye, yeah, so it's like pink with a goldy shift and the purple doesn't seem to be dual chrome or multi-chrome. So that was a good pairing. I'm taking a little more on the tip of the brush to try and get closer to my lash line. Mm, I came too far over like in this part. But that is okay. So we're gonna put that down. Oh my gosh. Mm. This one is interesting. Cause it's like, what colors are you? Purple, blue, green-ish. This side is just purple and pinkish. Mm. All right, we're going into the LA Girl. We're gonna start with this shade here first. Actually, we're just gonna go in with this brown right here. And we're gonna put that in our crease. Well, actually transition shade because I take my lid shades into the crease. Because otherwise, when I look straight at you, you won't see them because I have hooded eyes. Puffy eyes. So we're going to sweep this here. We're also going to, same brush, put that in transition area over here. I'm starting to believe my friend when she told me at some point she thinks I was just over the MAC Paint Pots because when they went on sale for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I asked her, like, did she remember what I thought about them years and years and years ago? And she said, at some point, I think you were just over it. And I think I am because I, I'm not liking the color. <laughs> if it was my skin tone color, it would be different. Um, but because it's like a yellow mustard something, I'm going to wipe that brush off and we're going to take this shade here and take that underneath our lower lash line. I do want to put a sparkle under here, but I don't know which one because I don't know what color they are. <laughs> they're, they're very shifty as you can see. That's nice. This is nice. When I swatched this palette, I was like, oh my gosh, like these are so soft. Like have I been sleeping on LA Girl? And I think I have been. We're going to take, and I don't like how contemplative you can see is yellowish up there. So I'm going to wipe this off, even though I have tons of brushes. And we're going to take this light shade here. I'm just going to put the tip of the brush, tap off, and just sweep that really lightly right there. I'm just not liking how this is looking yellow. So just the very tip of the brush. And so I think with this plain Jane palette, just one or two shades on the lid and that's it. Because you don't know what shifts it's gonna take because they're, most of them are dual chrome or multi-chrome. 
and so you don't want it to be like oh that's cute and you turn your iron and it's like some other color i'm going to wipe this same brush off and we're going to go in with this black very lightly try to do very lightly and just define our outer v just a little bit bring that over just a little not a lot I like that now if I can do the same thing on the other side that would be great outer v Bring that over a little bit. And I don't know why I'm trying to get it the same because it's two different eye looks. <laughs> uh, dipping straight in the tip of the brush to put a little bit more right here. So I want it to go over, but I want it to get gradient into that pink. I don't want to make it too dark. I'm going to take another clean blending brush, the same one, but a clean one. And, hmm. I'm gonna take this shade here. Cause I don't like how this pink is coming up right here. Where's the color? So I'm gonna put this right here, just to tone down that pink like right here this spot um, I took the pink over too far and I'm not liking how that's looking that did not help oh them colors are strong I'm dipping straight in again and I'm not even tapping off plain Jane is strong And you can still see like the pink up here. <laughs> the colors are strong. And I did not wet the brush so or use my finger. So imagine if I did. Hmm. I was trying to think if I want to put something on the inner corner over here. Um wiping the brush off. I'm gonna go into the shade we use for our brow bone highlight, and we're just going to sweep that right here just a little bit in a corner and then upward a little bit and we're going to put that palette down i want to do something on lower lash line but i don't know what to do i don't know what to do which one has all the colors i am going to take this will be fun because this is like a green red and i know it'll, it'll go with this side i don't know about this one but it might because it's looking kind of greenish over here so we're going to take this on the lower lash line i'm going to use an hourglass number nine brush yeah and we're going to dip in <laughs> and i should be using a different brush for this like a thinner brush but i am just experimenting and i am having a ball over here I'm not even going to try and explain these colors. Ah, uh, what is her name? I was watching a video. She had this palette and she swatched it and actually described the colors. And I think I watched it a second time and I kept pausing it to write it down because I'm horrible at describing colors. And so I'm like, oh, she's describing these colors. I need to like take notes. Um, I'll link her channel below. I don't remember the look she did, but I do remember she did a look, but she did swatches as well. <gasps> oh, I'm so proud of myself. Because it's simple, we're going to use the Fenty. Uh, I'm going to use the gel liner because they're about to expire. So we're going to use dip down on this side and we're going to use black track on this side and I only have one of these brushes you believe it because when I like a brush I get more than one but this one I ordered it's an Inglot 30T brush online with um it came with I think the door line or something so that's how I got this one I 
And I do like this brush because if you want to, you can just go straight across and make and stay on, on top of your lash line and not disturb your lashes versus an angled brush when you got to just kind of, you know, get in on the side of the brush. That was a trick I learned from Smith of Depak, how to do eyeliner if you have hooded eyes. She said, do an extension of your lower lash line and then meet it here and by and bypass your fold is what she calls in here all together. And so look, that worked out. But when I smile, oh, you can still see it. Oh, I like that. That was my first time trying that technique. I want to wipe this brush off. I'm going to use a cotton square. This was the last time I swiped it up here. And we're going to go in with the black and do the other side. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I am digging both of these looks. And very little fallout. Like hardly, I have a few specks over here and that's it. When I was using the Pat McGrath, it was like fallout down here, over here. I even had some on my chest, my forehead. And I'm like, what the hell? Like how? Mm. But it was this glittery. So she said, come down, extend your lower lash line, and then bring it in and fill in the middle. And so you have a wing, but it's below your hood of your hooded eye. This is working. And it's not looking distorted. It's not looking, well, it's thicker than this side. But it's not that thick bat wing line that I did when I was trying to do a wing liner. Look at that. Got my wing. I'm just so excited. I found out how to do a wing liner that I like on my eye shape. Look at that. And it gets eaten up a little bit, but not a lot. And it doesn't look distorted. It's just... I'm excited. And you know I want to do a bold lip, but I'm not because I got the two different eye looks going on. So this is LA Girl keeping it playful. Keep it playful. And Plain Jane... Two of the shadow palettes of the mini that I won from Joe Beauty 87's giveaway. So, this is that eye. Oh, wish I could see it. <laughs> and this is this eye. Wish I could see it. <laughs> I'm going to see it back in the video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have this palette. I am just super excited about it. And this too, because these masks were really nice and easy to work with. Thank you for watching. You'll see me in the next video.